YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Lightroom and Photoshop Quick Tips and Tricks. Specifically in this episode, I'm gonna show you a really cool technique that I use a lot on my portraits that you can do right in Lightroom. If you've ever wondered or have even seen a lot of higher end portraits and uh, how it has a ridiculously shallow depth of field, maybe you don't have the lens to kind of replicate that, you can do so in post in Lightroom really, really quickly. So without further ado, let me show you how we can go ahead and do that. Here I have a image open and I think this will be a perfect example. A lot of what we're gonna do is basically in our radio filter. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna create a mask around her face here. And I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger than her face. Now, one cool thing too, is when you're using filters like this or even masks, a lot of the time I click on the O and this will kind of show you how much it's feathering around your mask, which will allow you to better fine tune everything. So here, I think, I think it's a little bit too much feathered. So I'm gonna make the edge a little sharper and I'm gonna do so just by simply kind of reducing our feather amount here. I'm liking this, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come back up here and we're going to adjust our sharpness. I'm just gonna hit O and uh, deselect that. I'm gonna reduce our sharpness. We're gonna do it just very, very minor. We don't need to do too much because as we go further on, we're essentially going to be creating more layers. So even though at negative 20, um, it may be negative 40 uh, and so on and so forth. And you'll see what I mean here. So this is looking pretty good. As you can see, everything outside this mask is starting to get a little, little bit softer. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually Leave it like that and then I'll right click on our mask and then I'm gonna click on duplicate. Now I'm gonna make the uh, mask a little bit smaller here, just like so. And then I'm going to hit duplicate again. And if you notice, everything around here is starting to get pretty, pretty soft. I'm gonna make another duplicate, but go ahead and actually close this in a little bit more. There we go, hit duplicate and I'm gonna click done. And as you can see here, we've actually been able to basically mimic in post a really, really ridiculously shallow depth of field. We've kept the face pretty much sharp and in focus, and we've been able to slowly feather out um, a bokeh, if you will. Now, let me give you another really, really good example. We have a painted face here, and we are going to essentially do the same thing. This will help basically take the image to the next level, keep our focus right on the face, where the paint is while creating a nice fall off um, right here on everything else that may be a little distracting. So let's go ahead and create another mask here, just like so. Now, if you hover your cursor over the corners or uh, the edges of our mask, you can see that um, your cursor turns into some ba basically uh, bent arrows. If you click and hold on that, you will be able to tilt your mask a little bit better like that just to basically fit a face a little bit better like we're doing right here. And now I'm gonna come down here, click our O once more, just so we can see how our feathering is. I think it's a little too much, so we're going to also reduce this a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And we're gonna run through the same kind of steps. So I'm gonna reduce the sharpness just a little bit. Hit O just to kind of get rid of that so we can better see what's going on. I'm gonna right click duplicate again make our mask a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna duplicate again. And we are gonna do the same thing once more. And we do get a nice fall off here, but I think we can add just a little bit more. And to do so is very, very easy. You just come to our sharpness slider and go ahead and bring that down a little bit more and click on done. And this will give you the final result. And as you can see, it just really gives a nice look to a photo, especially like this. You have our main focus here on the face. Everything else is just slightly out of focus, which I think really adds to a, a dramatic look like this. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very, very easy way to basically take your portraits to the next level, especially your headshots. It really gives you that high-end look without having to spend a lot on a lens like an f1.2 that will give you that look right in camera. I think Lightroom does an absolutely fantastic job at kind of imitating this look, but you couldn't even really tell, at least to my eye, that it was done in post. Now, if you did enjoy this video, guys, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe as I am coming out with new content for you guys 
every single week. With that said, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.